transfer this side up, live fish to the fish, guys. This is our grouper. Big box, you guys know what that means. Big old fish. Moment of truth, you guys. Moment of truth. Marty boy, you want this? Oh, from the surface, from the surface. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another awesome video. Today, we are getting a brand new fish for the salt water pond, and it's been a little while, and I am excited. We're getting one of my dream groupers. Like, this grouper is good size, it's beautiful, it's gonna be aggressive. It checks every box that I want in a fish. But before we get to it, we're gonna go ahead and feed the koi fish, because these guys need to eat. Here they all are. Look at all these koi fish inside here. And then we have a big old tarpon that's probably gonna come up and destroy all those pellets. There you go, just like that. But we're gonna feed all of these guys inside here, get them nice and fat. Little breakfast for them. I, I like to throw a lot, you know? Just, just keep throwing with them, and there you go. The tarpon goes absolutely freaking ham. This is what I wanna have kinda like in my saltwater pond. You see how much color's inside here, how much movement, how many predators, different types of fish. That we're gonna, that's what we're gonna start doing with the saltwater pond. And uh, I mentioned it in my last video, my suppliers are texting me off the hook saying they're getting a bunch of really cool fish. So today we're hopping in the car and we're going down to the airport because this fish, they get shipped from California. So let's hop in the car, let's head down there. Right now we're heading down to the airport to go pick up this beautiful fish. It is a type of grouper. I'm sure you guys probably already saw it in the thumbnail, but I am super excited. This is a fish that I've wanted to have in my pond for the longest time and finally I had the opportunity to get myself one. Now, if you all remember the last time I went down to the airport and picked up a fish, it was actually a shark. It was a smooth hound shark and unfortunately it arrived dead. So we're hoping that that is not gonna be the same case today, but I feel like a shark and a grouper are two totally different levels of hardiness, I guess. Like a shark, is, it can go south pretty quick, but a grouper I feel like can withstand a little bit more stress. So. I'm hoping, fingers crossed, we're gonna be okay. This thing got here pretty quick, a lot quicker than the shark did, so we're heading down to the airport right now. I love filming these videos, going to the airport. It's just, it's a great experience. So come along for the drive, we're gonna be pulling to the airport real soon. All right, we are pulling in right now to the air cargo gate. Take a look right there. Air cargo. You guys can see we got some big jets right here. Like we're literally full blown behind the airport. It's nice actually having a filmer because we can actually get the full-blown experience. So you're literally going to see right here when we turn this corner, we are literally at the full-blown airport. Southwest Cargo, we're going to park the truck. Or is this is a truck? I don't know if this is a, considered a truck, but we're going to park the car right here at the Southwest Cargo. Get out and go get our freaking grouper, baby. I'm pumped up. Let's do it. We're here. It is so damn hot out. We're going to go inside here. The grouper just touched down like 30 minutes ago, but take a look right over here. You have the airport like we're literally gonna see a plane take off right now I think that one just landed I think this one just landed but that is the airport this is where our grouper came from from California to Houston then to here I believe I think I had to catch two different flights so I don't know if I can really film too much when I get inside here I have to fill out paperwork but once we do get the grouper and we get it back into the truck we'll go ahead take a look at the box I'm really super excited it's pretty cool this is where you come you get your fish when you're a true fish guy you know what I'm saying? So if you guys want some crazy stuff, this is, I guess, how you have to do it because there's no stores that really ever get big fish like this. So I'm gonna go inside, get this box, and bring it on out. All right, here it is, you guys. This is our box. I think I'm gonna make the leap of faith here. Perfect. Well, it was a lot lower than I thought. This is her. This side up, live fish to the fish, guys. This is our grouper. I'm a little bit concerned. We have some water on the outside of the box, so hopefully he's got water in his bag and he's doing okay. I'm gonna get this puppy in the truck and then we're heading home. Big box, you guys know what that means. Big old fish. Get in there. Ugh. Let's head home. Ugh. All right, we are just getting back home right now. That was about a 30 minute drive, but we're, we've made it. I'm gonna have to leave that car door open until we get there, but big box, it's a little wet. I don't know if I already told you guys that, but it's a little wet and the whole car ride home, I did not hear any like splashing around inside the box, like the group were like freaking out. So I'm hoping for the best, but you know what? We'll see what happens. Let's go get this guy near the pond. As you guys can see, the pond always has the tent on top of it to help with the heat and the algae. It's 92 degrees. Luckily, when I bought the pond, I did get it insulated. So for that exact reason, like heat and the cold, it wouldn't affect the water temperature too much. So, so we got this tent on the top of here to help with that. So 
we're not gonna waste any time I'm gonna go right inside of here and uh, we're gonna see I pray to God man I pray to God that this fish is alive here we go wow this thing is wicked sharp come on God please be good to me fish gods please be good to me fish gods fish gods be good there we go God it's super freaking wet all right here we go moment of truth you guys moment of truth there is the bag it's alive it's alive it's alive let's go baby okay we're gonna get him acclimating right now as we speak i want to get him out of the shade we're gonna get him acclimating and as we're acclimating him i am going to fix up the rock structure and then we're gonna feed the fish as well so they're not aggressive toward this guy but oh my god i'm so happy right now i don't want to show you guys the fish but allow me to look at it yeah he's alive wow perfect size man i could not have asked for a better size fish Let's freaking go. All right, here we are at the saltwater pond. Take a look. We got Richie Rich absolutely going crazy down below. Look at that. He is so trained now that he comes right up for food. Watch this. He'll get a little scent. He'll come right up. Come here, buddy. So as you guys can see, the rock structure is just demolished. So the whole idea of feeding them right now is one, so I can actually put my hands in here and fix this rock structure. And two, once we do add our brand new grouper inside of here, they're not gonna harm them whatsoever. So let's stuff these fish. Oh, here comes one of the sharks right here. Here you go, buddy. You want a little, you want a little piece of shrimp? You want a little piece of shrimp? What? You don't want that, huh? There you go, buddy. He took it, perfect. There's one whole shrimp to that shark right there. Another whole shrimp. Richie Rich, buddy, you're getting a friend today. I know you missed it. Look at Richie, look at Richie in the corner. Look at him, come here, boy. Come here, right here, right here. Marty, boy, you want this? Oh, from the surface, from the surface. Marty ate the whole shrimp. That was awesome. Now look at Richie. Richie's on the surface. I don't know why. Every time I feed, I try to feed them on camera for you guys. I can never get them to come to the surface. But when it's off camera, they're literally living on the top of the water, jumping out. Richie, Richie, Richie. Come here. Come here. There you go, buddy. There you go. That's what we're used to. A little chase up just like that. And he eats right off the surface. I'm going to keep stuffing them. We also have to feed Gus, our mangrove snapper. I'm going to throw shrimp inside here for them. Really fill these fish up full of food because I don't want them to be aggressive towards this new fish whatsoever. Plus, I don't want them to be aggressive to me when I'm inside there. We got Marty sitting over there. We have all the sharks. They're swimming around like crazy. They definitely were really, really hungry and they're trying to eat. I did a big feeding yesterday because yesterday was 4th of July. Oh, we just saw Gus come out and get one. Yesterday was 4th of July. So, you know, everyone deserves a nice big old meal on 4th of July. You guys can see the sharks are definitely a lot more active and they're going crazy. They're freaking out right now. And they're looking for that shrimp. Little do they know, it's all on the other side. Look at them going nuts out of there. Hey, 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 hey. So right now the rock structure is obviously demolished. You guys are seeing it right now underneath the water. I'm gonna get inside here right now, just with my hands, and I'm gonna fix the rock structure. That way, you know, there's a nice welcoming for this new grouper. So let me do that, and then I'll show you guys how it looks. He's all acclimated up. I've had an aerator on him, and I've been giving him bowls of water. If you guys only knew how hot it is, hang on, 92 but feels like 104. I am literally sweating from parts of my body I've never sweated from in my life. The rock structure itself, come take a look. I got most of them off the bottom. It looks a little bit better. I'm definitely gonna have to try again, but these sharks were like coming after me. Like it was bad. I had, a, I had to jump out of the pond a couple times. Water's a little bit murky, but we're gonna go ahead and get this fish in the water right now. And then tomorrow I'm gonna do an update on them and we're gonna try and feed this fish. So let's go ahead, let's take a look. All right, we're gonna take this and we're gonna put it in the, uh, the bucket here. We got a lot of water, a lot, a lot of water to say the least. Fill that up just like that, perfect. Now we can get our grouper Let's put him inside. Oh my God, look inside the bag here. Take a look inside there, a little sneak peek right there. So let me go ahead and grab him. This is, this is a beautiful fish. Come here, holy cow. Guys, look at this gorgeous panther grouper right here. Beautiful size. I mean, just about, I would say 10 to 12 inches. Absolutely just perfect. These are the size fish that we wanna be getting. So that way we can have them for a decent amount of time. You guys can see he's brown, he's stressed out right now. Once he's been in the pond for a little bit, he's gonna lighten up and he's gonna be absolutely beautiful. All right, he's all acclimated up, he's inside the bucket here. We're gonna go ahead, get him inside of this net and then get him straight into the pond. You guys are gonna see it underwater, baby. Let's do it. Here we go. Let's get this guy into the net. There he is. Oh my God, look at that fish. Look at that fish. Whoa, that was close. All right, we're going in, we're going in. We're going in. Uh, 
There he is. There he goes. Let's freaking go, baby! Alright, he's in the pond, you guys. I am about to have a heat stroke. This is not even a joke. I need to go inside. We're gonna come back out here tomorrow. We're gonna try and feed him. So, I'll see you guys in the morning. All right, you guys, it is the next day and we're out here at the pond. The water looks really dang good. Now our grouper is actually hiding right inside of this rock right here. So I'm gonna lower my GoPro down into the water and see if we can get a little sneak peek of this guy. Oh yeah, we just kind of scared him. Sorry, bud. There you go. You guys can see him on the back right there. There's his head right there. Oh, he just spooked. He just went under. So he's in the back. He's, this is his little cave right here kind of trying to follow him around but I also do want to try and feed him I probably should not have stuck the GoPro in right away but I've got a shrimp right here I'm gonna try and throw a chunk in and see if he's gonna take it so let's see he's only been in here for 12 hours <laughs> 24 hours, actually. Well, the grouper did not eat, unfortunately, but you know what? He hasn't been in here too long, so I'm not surprised, but please go ahead and leave a comment down below what you guys think we should name this grouper. On the other hand, Richie Rich was not having it today with the GoPro. I think he charged it like two or three different times, and then he went ahead and picked up the bottom of the pond. He got the leftover shrimp that our grouper didn't eat, but get ready. I think Charizard, my mini artist grouper, might be going in here next. Thank you all so much for watching. Leave a comment down below what you guys think we should name them, and I'll catch you guys in that next video. Peace out.